is Zebra Herd. Welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. Today, we are continuing our adventure through the first Spyro the Dragon game. Of course, last episode, the first episode, we explored the first world. That makes sense, doesn't it? The Artisan's World, where we completed everything 100%, which was awesome. Now, we're gonna be moving on to the second area of the game, right on over this way, as you can see. And, oh, this is such a cool view. Just Anything could be beyond those hilltops, and we'll find out together what it is. Wow. Mark with the balloonist. See you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. Yep, it's true. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Yes, I'm definitely ready to go. The weird thing, I was not expecting him to have voice acting because he didn't in the original game. But hey, more power to him. Keep talking. Or not. Oh, wait. Wait, no, I pressed A here. Come on, Spyro. Okay, peacekeepers we go. So that's the next area is the peacekeepers. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I guess we'll find out together. Boom, trophy, entering peacekeepers world. I am so excited for this. We just have this hot air balloon. You'd think we'd be able to just fly there, but I guess not. But this is totally fine with me. Nice hot air balloon ride. We can torch it to, you know, let it raise, I guess, because, you know, hot air balloons raise because of the fire. Spire can do pretty good at that. I don't know how long it's gonna take to load, but I've been having so much fun with the first episode. I'm so excited to tackle more of it today. Hopefully you guys have had the chance to play the game yourself and you can let me know how you're enjoying it. I think it's really good so far, so <laughs> I'm excited to continue. We'll try to put, post an episode at least once a day. Whoa, what's happening now? We're here, awesome. So here we are, the Peacekeeper's World, and we have lots to do here, I'm sure. So let's find out together what we can get done. I see a dragon to save. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure, got it. All right, well, <laughs> it's too much of a mystery that yes, we need to collect treasure, but I guess we can get started with this world now. Okay, so let's get rid of this guy. You can see that there are some Peacekeepers, but oddly enough, the Peacekeepers are the bad guys. They look so much different in this game than they do in the original. They're just like small little green blobs, really, with arms and legs. I love it. <laughs> they are a fair bit different. We wanna make sure we're taking out as many bad guys as possible, but man, does this area look so cool. It looks so much more realized, I love it. So we wanna run around and try to take care of these guys with the cannons first, because if not, they'll be shooting back at us. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let's get rid of these guys. Oh, I, I love these dudes, because you can like scare them away, and they all hop in their tent, but then if you, oh yeah, there they go, <laughs> they show their butt. I thought that usually they would be just in their underwear, maybe that's not the case. I thought that they were bathrooms when I was younger. I guess not, they're just tents and they just show their butt at you. Oh, that one didn't have anybody in it. <laughs> okay, so let's go back because there's still one more guy over this way. Got him. And we can use these cannons for things, I think. I don't remember exactly what, but as you can see, you can just launch stuff around. I don't know if they have any specific use, at least not over this way. And look at the cute bunnies. Oh, they're so adorable as they run around. I like it. So, there's a... Of course, a couple levels will be passing by as we're exploring the overworld first, like Dry Canyon. Not gonna go inside just yet, but I do need to pick up these gems nearby it. There we go. I feel like that level used to be farther in to like a little cavern. Maybe I'm getting that wrong. I don't remember. Like some things, they, like I said last episode, they feel geographically different, but I suppose they're sort of around the same place. What is this, this is Cliff Town. Exploring all sorts of different places like that soon enough. Oh, there's more guys in tents over this way. Skill point acquired! I, I don't know what I did, but I did something. There we go, and let's get rid of this guy. So what was my skill point then? Uh, skill points. Scare six nor norks. I thought that said nors. It looks like an E. Norks into tents. Weird font, but yeah, I didn't even intentionally do that, but that's awesome. Good to know that I was able to get it done, and hey, another dragon. Who is this? This is Magnus, cool. Hey, Spyro, Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. <laughs> All right, thanks, Magnus. He's pretty cool, I like him. He has a good personality. Let's go ahead and boom, get rid of this guy because he was shooting cannons at us while we're talking to that dragon. Get out of here, thank you. And you, see ya. Doing pretty well so far. It looks like there's also a uh, Marco over here. Hi, Marco. How are you doing? Let's go ahead and grab this stuff. Awesome, how many gems do we have to get? 200, so we solved. Oh no, oh that was water. Sorry Sparks. I had an extra life, dude, we're at 10 lives again. Awesome, I lost a couple in the last episode, unfortunately. 
This butterfly, if I can. Excuse me, Mr. Butterfly, I need your, I mean, not butterfly, I need to get the bunny for the butterfly. You know what I meant. So this is actually where we use the cannons, if I remember correctly. We need to push this over this, wait, wait, wait. This over like this. You gotta keep pushing it, you got it, you got it. And then, boom. Hopefully that'll be lined up enough. Oh, that might not be. Oh, I missed. No, I didn't! Awesome, so we break that and we can actually continue farther in the level. You know, is this a, a key chest? Oh, it is a key chest, isn't it? I don't know where the lock is. Maybe not? No, I'm pretty sure it's a key chest. Oh, you know what this is? Never mind, I'm wrong. It's neither. It's only something that can be exploded by this cannon. So let's try that out, like this right here. Perfect, that's what we're supposed to do. How cool is that? Boop, got it, and boom. Okay, got that. Go across here, some of these jumps can be a bit scary because you know this water or purple goop or whatever it's supposed to be does hurt us. This is a nice little desert area. There's a lot of desert type levels in this world, so that'll be pretty cool to explore. But for right now, boom, got some of that stuff. 108 gems in total, here are a couple more. What is with this cactus over here? Anything special? Not quite. Okay, get back over this way. What can we do about this? Because we did destroy this thing, and because of that, we can get up this way. And this is night flight, so this is the flight level for uh, this world, which is pretty cool. A little bit easier to get to, if you ask me. I mean, I guess it took just, amount to, just the same amount of work as the uh, flight area in the Artisans. But just, you know, you have to discover a secret to find it, which I think is a really cool idea. And there's even an egg snatcher in this. Oh, very interesting. Let's go and try to get him. No, 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 no. Oh, you didn't even get to start running. <laughs> Thought he was gonna dodge all over the place, not quite, easy peasy. Awesome, so we had three dragon eggs in total already, which is just excellent. I wanna grab some of this stuff. Ooh, and the key! Didn't even know this was here, I forgot about that. Thought I was able to grab it, and we have a dragon to talk to. It's a gunner. Oh, I like that name. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just wanna kick some- Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Yeah, Spyro, come on. Be a good sport about it. Okay, so we're gonna go this way because I think there's still a couple more things we can do. Oh, I missed some red gems over that way. How embarrassing. They were right there the entire time, the very beginning of the area. And then we'll have to cash in the key, but what is, oh, maybe this is where we use the key. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, wait. Oh, no, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Wait, no, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, no. Oh. <laughs> what the heck was that? I couldn't make it up the, the corner. Ah, oh, I stink. Where are we gonna respawn? I guess where we just talked to Gunner. He was a pretty cool dragon though, I liked him. Reigniting. <laughs> I do like that. Okay, getting back into it. I can't believe I died in the overworld. That's sort of embarrassing. It's usually not that difficult, but I just have a way of messing things up. There we go, we gotta glide at the top of our jump, as always. Oh, there is quite a lot in here. Get those two. These two, oh that was good, they were both five each, and then we can cash in the key like this. I'm bound to get plenty of gems in this one, an okay amount, nothing too crazy. So we're at 191 still, so we're missing a good couple of gems. I know there's a two over this way now. Ow, oh that didn't really work. I know back in the original PS1 version, you can sort of charge to get a little bit extra out of your glide. We're missing seven more gems, where could they be? I don't know, maybe I could have missed them back this way? I doubt it, it doesn't seem like it, but it's always worth checking. Oh, Marco's not here anymore. Huh, I guess he just leaves. So let's try this out again. Let me run through everything and try to find those, whoa, whoa, what happened? Oh, that was scary, I thought the game was gonna crash. We gotta find nine more, or was it seven more? Seven more gems somewhere around here. Oh, right here, I, I died, I respawned here, I looked down this way. This is what I was looking for before, I am such a dingus. So yeah, there's seven of them leading to Ice Cavern. Oh wait, I missed one, there we go, all 200 gems. I can't believe I missed those there, that's funny. Okay, 100% level complete, so we can make our way all the way back this way, because I think there is a level waiting for us just over yonder. It is a little bit longer of a world as we start Dry Canyon. Uh, I think there is like, th like four or five levels instead of there just being four levels. Plus the boss and the, you know, like including the boss and flying levels. I think there's like four main levels, a flying level and a boss level. So it'll be a lot of action for sure, but totally worth it as we enter Dry Canyon with 1200 gems in total. I don't remember how much we have. Cause I know he actually said in the opening cutscene, cut it's like, do we have 12,000 or 14,000? I think it's actually 12,000 when you find out it's actually more afterwards. We'll see, we'll see. It's a fun little nod when you think about it. 
Okay, so, lots of stuff going on in this area. This is one of the more difficult levels in the earlier parts of the game, in my opinion, because there's just so much to find, it's actually quite diverse. This guy already sees me, he's shooting at me. Leave me alone, ready? Wait, charge him, there we go, perfect. Because <laughs> he actually unshields himself to laugh and shoot at me. Oh yeah, these things give us all yellow gems, which is good, because we're trying to get 400 gems in this level. The highest amount we've got had to get before this was 200. So why it jumped to 400, who knows? But we just gotta make sure we're doing everything we can. Like destroy, oh, destroy the egg guy, for sure. Whereas, oh no, get back here. You get back here, give me that egg. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, almost, almost. Keep charging, keep charging, keep charging. Oh, we got him, nice. Oh, oh, did I get hurt there? Guess it didn't count. Good, whoa, whoa, I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy. <laughs> Charge him, see ya, that was awesome. Okay, so we're making some good progress already. We got 70 gems. Now I sort of see why it's so much. We've already collected a bunch of them. Boom. Okay, so I think I, yeah, I missed a couple things, like a green gem right there. And it looks like that's about it for now. You might notice that there's some stuff overhead that we can't quite reach at the moment. And did I get everything behind this way? Looks like it. Got it. You gotta be meticulous with it. If not, you're gonna, you're gonna end up missing something. Like all these green gem, gem boxes. Got it. Dodge you, okay, I don't even need to dodge it. Oh, hey, look, a dragon. Who are you? Conan, cool. Hello, oh, Conan. Oh, oh, thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Ah, uh, so this is where they start not really saying too much. I mean, they added a little bit of a flair there. He was looking the wrong way. <laughs> He's like some kind of soldier, which is really cool. But this is where they just start saying, a lot of them don't have too much advice. They'll just be like, thank you for releasing me, and that's it. Which, I mean, I get it. It would be cool if they would have added a little bit more, but maybe that would have, you know, ruined the origina original, you know, form of it. So, I don't know. I, I sort of, at the least, I really appreciate they added some little artistic flares to each dragon. Each dragon is unique, which is pretty cool. Okay, this guy, he's looking pretty mean, but I took him out before he did anything. I don't know how mean he actually is. No, we got hurt again. Let's run back this way. And I'm gonna try to find maybe another bunny to take out. Just because I know I will get hit a lot in this level, so if I could get some health back now, it'll probably be worth my while. So you get that butterfly sparks, good job, buddy. I wanna move back this way. So from this way onward, there is quite a few ways to move, as you might have seen already, because we can go down this way, climb up these steps. There are some things we already missed by doing that. It sort of loops around in an interesting way. I wonder if we can see the map. Is there also a level map? Or is it just an, oh, there is a level map, that's so cool. I've always sort of wanted to see all this stuff and plot it out. I haven't posted, like, as I'm recording this, the first episode is releasing later the day I'm recording this, you know? So, I haven't seen your guys' feedback on whether or not you want to see me use the map or not, but I would definitely love to hear that feedback. But for now, let's go ahead and talk to another dragon. It's Boris. <laughs> Hi, Boris. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider. Hey, Spyro. I was born to glide. <laughs> I love Spyro's spunk. That was a weird dragon, too. He had like a chipped horn. He had like, I don't know, like a rope for some reason. I don't even know what was going on with him. But anyways, let's go ahead and focus on these birds. They don't seem very nice, but they're at least not as bad as the dogs last episode. They were the worst. And hey, look, another life. Very cool. So what is going on? Okay, that's where we started, down below. So how cool is that? I already made a full loop around. I do see this stuff, don't wanna miss this, but I also don't wanna fall, because if I fall, I gotta go all the way back. Well, let's try to be careful and charge you. Nice, I think he has a friend over this way. He's gone. <laughs> We're doing really good, I like it. Get rid of these four chests, cause why not? Get some extra gems from it. So we could return home, but obviously I don't wanna do that right now. Looking for more goodies, more prizes, more loot. Okay, it doesn't look like there's too much going on right now in any of these. Now, I don't know if I can make this jump. Uh, no we can't. Yeah, I remember there's another way to get to that. So we still have another number of things to do. Why don't we go ahead and work on this? Up this way leads to like a whole different section of things. So it can be pretty cool. Just gotta glide over like that. I think we're just good to work on this part. This part is pretty cool because it's like, I guess like a castle of some sort. It's very, it's just so much more detailed in this. So it's just, it's such a wonder to look at everything. Oh gosh, no. Wait, where's the bird? Okay, that took out both of them. Two for one deal there, awesome. Okay, so let's boom, boom, and oh, I missed him. Got him. <laughs> a little weird, but we made it work. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, boom, two for one deal again. Get him. Excellent, that was so cool. 
So which way do we wanna go? Probably just straight into this little castle and try to talk to this dragon. This is Ivor. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known, uh, You've known... Ah, uh, I forget. <laughs> well, maybe that he's great, or that he's at least incredibly purple. I don't know, one of the two, for sure. Ivor seems cool, he had a bomb for some reason. I just love how they all have little knickknacks now, because they didn't before, they were just dragons, just different colors, you know? So it's cool that they had their own little knickknacks and they just sort of hold them. No story beyond, you know, wh why they could have them, like a rope or a bomb or anything. It's just, it's just there. And that's sort of the charm of it. I, I really like it. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of these two. We're doing pretty gosh darn good in this level so far, actually, except for the one time I landed in the water a little bit. Oh, afraid that cactus. Let's go ahead and grab some of these gems that are just chilling out. We're already less than 100 gems away from completing the level. Have we run into every dragon yet, though? I suppose not, we're missing one more that's gonna be around here somewhere. Nothing this way, right? You always gotta stand, whenever there's an opening, a ledge, a gap of any sort, you always gotta take a good look at it and make sure you're not missing any gliding opportunities like this one right here. And that's what's sort of really awesome about the Spyro games is that we really do wanna adventure and look and appreciate every corner of the environment, because if not, you're likely going to miss out on something. And that's sort of something I think a lot of, especially PlayStation 1 games at the time, because the hardware was really limited, missed out on. Of course, you see that with you know the, the future generations, games that really utilize the hardware and are able to make it so that you have a fully explorable area. But back in the PlayStation 1, you just didn't have that so much. You'd have a lot more restraint. Like I said in the last episode with Crash Bandicoot, I love the game, but it also had its own you know complications, like you know it being very constrained. So that it's not really an exploration game; it's more of a platforming you know, mastering the level kind of game. Well, this is quite the opposite. It really is just exploration. Oh, this is a key thing. We gotta go and find that key somewhere. I think I know where it is, but it might take me a moment to get there. So let's move back this way. And I think we've done a pretty good job of getting most things. So all I gotta do now is get back up. Man, the sun is so bright on the sand, it almost looks like snow. Pretty cool. There we go. Okay, we're doing pretty good. I really like the use of color. Oh wait, oh yeah, this just loops around. So how in the world am I getting over there? If I remember correctly, and I could be remembering totally incorrectly, I don't think I am. It's, oh yeah, this right here. I can glide across, land here, charge up. Oh, there's a couple of things in here. Oh, this is so cool. See ya. <laughs> Not your room anymore. And then from here we can glide hug this wall and land right here, perfect. And this is the last dragon as well, so this gives us a couple things on, and the key! Yeah! Hi, Maximus! Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. <laughs> All dragons found, I like Maximus. He had a big scar on his neck for some reason. That's like another thing. I want to know these guys' story. Like, ah, no, wait. I don't want our story to end a little too soon. That, that's bad. We got to keep living. But I really just want to know, like, how did he get that scar? You know, when was the first time he tried to flame broil a bird? Uh, okay, I don't really need to know that one so much. But just all the different questions about all of them. Let's try to move back this way. And I know what to do with this key. And it should give us the remaining few gems. Let's hope so. I don't know if there's a button that tells me how much I'm missing. I guess not. There used to be. There was definitely used to be a button that would just pop up everything on the main screen. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I did, but it shows me it there. Oh yeah, I guess it is the pressing in the right trigger. Sometimes that makes me look though, so I don't know. Weird. <laughs> okay, who cares? We're gonna keep moving this way. And hopefully get everything else we need from this chest, trying to jump at the very peak of my glide, or glide at the very peak of my jump. That was very close, by the way. Okay, so what do we get inside of this one? Ooh, a yellow gem, that's always pretty good. And there we go, all 400 of them. That should be the level 100% complete, and it is awesome. So all we gotta do now is get the heck out of here, which we do by just going back this way and gliding back over like we were doing before. So we do have to loop around this level several times to really get the most out of it. And you'll really see that with a lot of the different levels is that you really have to go through it thoroughly to get every single thing. But let's return home. This level's well done. We've 
It's, it's basically empty. That's sort of another thing that's both satisfying and a little disappointing is that levels feel very empty once you complete them because there's you sort of you know take everything you need, which is mostly all the things occupying the environment. Anyways, our first level in the Peacekeeper's world, and I'm very impressed. It looked beautiful, it played beautiful, and it was a very fun level. Not as challenging as I thought it would be, but hey, that's fine. It's definitely one of those levels that might be a bit more challenging on your first time through. Oh, look. Everybody is back. Let's go ahead and beat them up to see if we can get ourselves enough orbs for an extra life. That'd be very cool. Sorry, I'm like hiccuping a lot. I don't mean to, I promise. Okay, get rid of this guy before we can get in there. Awesome. Very good stuff. So let's head into the next level, which is Cliff Town. Oh, if I remember this one correctly, not only is it a very cool level, but it can be a bit on the difficult side. But I guess we'll find out together. I'm pretty sure this is the one I was thinking of. But I'm not really 100% positive. Let's find out, <laughs> the wait is killing me. But one interesting thing about the original Spyro game is that one thing is a lot of the environment was very low poly, which means that a lot of the, like, I guess 3D shapes were very simple. Oh, it is the level, because of the fact that you had to be able to see really far away. And of course, if you wanna see really far away and have really detailed objects, it doesn't really work together on limited hardware like the PS1. And this is where that level, like this level really exemplifies that because there's a lot of really far gliding you have to do and you have to be able to see where you're gliding, you know? So lots of cool stuff like that. Anyways, talking more about this game, this level just looks super cool so far. Like look at all the sand dunes. I don't know what's going on with this cloud, but a lot of cool evil enemies that hanging out. We already took out one of them and we got this lady. Oh yeah, these guys are tough because like <laughs> sends her friends out to get them. And then I, I always forget this, if you torch these pots, you get gems from that. I always forget that and I'm like, where are the last like 20 gems? I looked everywhere. Uh, and, and then I realized I haven't looked anywhere or everywhere because I missed something. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these guys. Oh, look at the little lizard. I guess they make the butterflies this time. They do, that's funny. So let's torch this. Is it gonna give me anything? Guess not this time. Hi, are you trying to scare me? Oh, I sort of feel bad for doing that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we got an extra life. That's cool, I don't know why we got an extra life. Huh, maybe we get extra stuff for taking care of guys even though we have max health. I did not realize that, that's pretty cool. So, I do see these dudes over this way. Oh, I love that on the ground, you can see like little marks as if there's been a cart dragged through here. That is super cool. I love the attention to detail there. Could have just been, you know, sand, but no, they made it more. That's awesome. Oh, I hear an egg snatcher. I think he's on the rooftop, so so we'll have to come back later. Oh, no, he's right here. Get him. Get him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm gonna get you. You can't run forever. Or can you? I mean, I guess you could, Al, run forever, but eventually I'll catch you. You can run, but you can't hide. That's probably a better uh, phrase for taking this guy down. Oh, almost got him. Oh, I got him. Around the corner and everything. Didn't even see him. And there we go. There's our fourth egg and a dragon to save. It is Halvor. Very cool. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember Spyro, flame won't work on metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. I love the animation on all the dragons and Spyro and stuff. It makes it feel like a, like a little tiny mini movie or something, just like the way they move it. Feels very movie-like. I would love to see a Crash and Spyro movie. I don't know, I know they made the Ratchet and Clank movie. That was a really fun one, I love that one. I would really like to see a, a Crash and a Spyro movie. That'd be so cool, and then they can make a Crash and Spyro game based on the movie, based on the game. Makes it dizzy, all the correlations. Okay, so let's get over this way, and boom, get rid of that. That was a, uh, a yellow gem, which gives us 10. There's a whole bunch of little hidden stuff in this level, though. It will be tough to keep up with all of it, but it'll be very worthwhile. I mean, maybe the look at these guys. It's like, what are they? These are like these weird purple fingers and just like some eyeballs. I mean, it gives you an extra life. So like, what was really in there, who knows? <laughs> I don't really understand it, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, let's go this way. Oh, these two are really hidden. You gotta make sure you get those, because they could be easily something you can miss. Okay, so let's get back this way and try to climb up this big wall. This is sort of the cliff part of Cliff Town, because it is a town on a cliff. What do you know? Let's go ahead and torch that up, get some extra gems out of the pot. The music here is really cool as well. I mean, let's face it, the music is good throughout the entire series. It's really, really good. 
I don't remember who made the music for this game, or at least like the original PS1 game, but I know it was like some drummer for a band or something. I'm not the most familiar with all the facts of the game, I just know a little bit here and there. Okay, well we're doing pretty good with getting rid of these guys. Ow, are you okay Spyro? Go ahead and get rid of this. Oh, have we already? Looks like it. Hmm, is this a key chest? Oh, you know what, I know what that is. We'll find out later. But there's a lot we can do from the top of Clifftown that we'll get started with soon enough. First, we gotta get rid of you two, the chefs, cooking stuff up in their pots. Oh, we already got the return home over this way. Cool. Well, I'm not gonna do that, but at least we know where to go when we want to. Got it. So how many gems are we looking for? Another 400. So that's sort of just the standard for this this uh, world, is 400 gems, I guess. Okay, well, let's talk to Enzo. Oh, that's a cool name. Hey. What's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? <laughs> well, that's a, a little rude, but I mean, I guess it's a little, you know, encouraging to Spyro to check things out. Before we do, I do want to get these. Maybe I should have saved these for later, but you can see that chest over there, right? Well, what happens if I hit this firework? I want to see, what is this? Does this firework say anything? Snakes. Oh, I guess it's like snakes in a can. Isn't that like a thing? I don't know. But we can go ahead and torch that. And boom, see ya. That was awesome. So we'll have to go and pick that stuff up soon enough. But before we do, I also want to grab some of this because there's definitely some well worth gems in that. So you might have noticed that they do give you, once you get to the top of Clifftown, they do give you a little bit of a shortcut so you don't have to get all the way back up again. That'd be a pain in the butt. There we go, got a couple more. 270, 280 in total now, nice. So now that we've gone to the top of Clifftown, I missed another gem, hold on. Gotta make sure I get all of these, because if not, I'm gonna be looking all over for that thing. Hmm. But they do do a pretty good job at making sure that nothing sticks out as much as the gems do, so that even when you're looking at a distance, you can find them. Like, I can even see a couple of them sitting on the areas way farther. Like, I missed a couple of red ones over there. It's so important that they do that, and they did a really good job with it. So let's go ahead and glide over to this, come on, come on! Yeah, we made it! I was super worried we weren't gonna make it. But yeah, that was quite the glide. I think that's like the farthest glide we've made so far, which is really cool. Okay, oh yeah, we got, gotta get rid of these birds. Just like the last level, they're all over the place. And then we have another one of these areas where there's an invisible force field. And who knows what in the distance. I love it, it's very cool. Okay, get rid of you, no problemo. You too, you're out of here. Oh, there's more of these little guys. Let's see how many we can take out and see if they get us any extra lives. Yeah, because I thought that the butterfly that gave us an extra life was a little bluish. None of these are blue, but I guess there's a blue butterfly that can give you an extra life? Was that in the original game? I never knew that, that was weird. Okay, well, I got the uh, the blue butterfly a little earlier. At least that's what it looked like to me, maybe I'm wrong. But we definitely got an extra life from something when we didn't get an extra life box and we didn't have a full set of, of the orbs, so it was just sort of a weird situation. Anyways, we got more important things to focus on, like all these birds still left to take out. And, oh, birds of a feather. We got a trophy, pretty cool. And our last dragon of the area, I think. It's Marco. Oh, like the balloonist, cool. You've reached the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind over there. Gotcha. Okay, so apparently there's a whirlwind. Oh, ah, so if we do fall, you can use that whirlwind to get back up, just like over on the other part of Clifftown. Very nice, so before we do any of that though, I still wanna collect a couple of things I missed. Like these two red gems, they're gonna be a total pain to grab if I don't get them now. Oh, these guys are back. Okay. I made a shot more butterflies. <laughs> we don't really need them, but sometimes it's just fun to see Sparks chase after him because he's just so cool. Let's fly up this way. We are good. So we're gonna get to the top of this cliff and then glide over. Oh, can I make it, can I make it? You bet I can. Very nice. Got some of that, and I don't think I need to go down there for now. But what I do need to do, I remember, is get over there. I don't remember exactly how we do it. Ow, I thought he was gonna go into this. Just hit the wall, I'm sorry Spyro. Must have hurt. Yeah, we just go over this way, where there are also some green gens waiting for me that I missed out on. But we can glide over this little wall. Oh, boom, and land right on top of it. And there's a couple more things to pick up, so I'm glad we did this. And there's a cool 
set of desert stuff to look at in the distance. I mean, not too much, but it's just cool to look at. And there we go, there's all 400 gems, and that should be the level 100% completed. Indeed it is. So we've been making some fantastic progress so far. We haven't gotten to a situation where we've been super stuck. We lost, a, or we were missing a couple of gems, of course, in the overworld, but we found them relatively quickly. So now we're just back into the action and things doing really well. Of course, there are still quite a few levels left to tackle in this world, so there's still plenty of time to mess things up, but I guess we'll find out together as we head back home. Or, it says head home, but really it's back to the Peacekeepers where we now have 2,000 gems. Wonderful progress. Have 10,000 more to go, then, I guess. <laughs> we'll find out. Anyways, I'm having so much fun with this world so far. It has been a lot of fun just because no matter which level we're on, there's always new stuff to find. Okay, so where are we going now? There are quite a few areas we could get to, but the next level is right down here. Yeah, gotta remember this place. But yeah, we're going into the ice cavern. This one's a bit difficult and a little bit aesthetically different. Instead of it being out in the desert, it's in an ice cavern, which is just quite a lot different. Oh, I love this background. Look at the, the like sort of like a little bit of an uh, aurora borealis in the background, which is really cool. But yeah, that's sort of the great thing about these levels is that with other games that sort of work with worlds, usually each world sort of has a main theme to it. Like Mario was really big with that. World 2 will have some themes that are really only a part of World 2, but for Spyro, every level has its own unique things. Wow, these guys look so much different than I remember. Look at him. He's like, I see you, Spyro, I'm gonna get you. It's so cool. They actually have a little bit of a devilish look to them when they see you. And he's ready to take us down. That is so cool, just a little attention to detail like that is, I love it. But yeah, this is a very interesting level, and beyond that, it's one heck of a beautiful one. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I know I'm gonna say that a lot in the series, because it's true. Let's beat this guy up, see ya. I think that if we charge him, his belly will knock us back, so let's just charge him for now. You, though, get out of here. Oh, well, maybe we'll try charging this guy. Yep, he's got a big belly, and he punched me. Get out of here, don't be mean. Okay, well, that was not too bad. Let's talk to this dragon. Oh, these bats, they give us butterflies. I don't, I didn't remember, so I wanted to make sure we didn't get taken out by them. Hello, who is this? This is Ulrich. I have rescued you, Ulrich. A word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <clears throat> like me, before charging those large enemies. Well, you grow big, but your, your wings stayed small. But I mean, hey, I, that was very weird. He had a sword and shield. You think with a dragon, you'd just be able to breathe fire and that'd be that, but I guess he wanted to take it a step farther. That's so cool, I like it. Oh, let's go ahead and get this guy. Don't you throw snowballs at me. So rude, so rude. I didn't ask to be part of your snowball fight. Go ahead and pick up some of this stuff. I didn't miss any gems by the dragon, did I? I'm gonna run back real ow, fast and make sure I didn't. Ow, <laughs> okay, no I didn't. I did wanna look through this little hole a little bit more though, because it just looks cool. Look at this view. It's not too much of a view because there's the fog. But this is a nice spot to sort of scout out some stuff as well. That's why the look feature is so important in this game. You can really get a good taste on anything you may have missed or anything that's up ahead. And that's awesome. So I think that's about everything in this little corner. Pick up a couple more gems this way. I know this area, this level does sort of loop around in some spaces. I think we're actually getting to that part soon enough. But before we do, we have a dragon. Who are we rescuing this time? It's Todor. Hope I pronounced that right. Spyro, some big norks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Wow, he was a cool looking dragon. That's another thing I really like about these designs is that, oh yeah, I remember these are gonna hit him and the gem will fall. Is that there's like some really unique ideas going on with the Dragon designs, like the dragon we talked to before, very big, very burly, had tiny little scaly wings like Spyro, but that guy had big feathered wings. So it's like, while they're all dragons, they're also different types of dragons, so that's so cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and glide over to this. I think this is where we do this, I sure hope so. Looks like it, so we got two gems and a key. Now how do we get back? Oh, from here. I was gonna say, I don't know. <laughs> Getting a little nervous. Was that what we were supposed to do to get over here? I don't know, but I definitely missed out on some stuff. I guess I could have gone over this way, gotcha. I might do that real fast. Cause is there another, yep, there's another 400 gems to get into this massive level. Man, there's so much. I don't know if I should do this now. I'll just go get the dragon at the least. Rescued Andor. Who is this then? Thank you for releasing me. 
Ah, oh, he didn't have much to say. Well, you're welcome for me releasing you. That's what I have to say about it. I like the ones where Spyro actually talks too, just because that adds a little bit of, you know, originalness to Spyro, which is always cool to see. Yeah, I'm gonna go through all of this and then we'll loop back around because there is still quite a lot we can do. I've sort of just missed out on. Here's a little return home portal. Whoa! <laughs> Watch where you're throwing that stuff, dude. Not cool. So it looks like, I know there's a way to hop on top of these. Oh, okay, this one's a little bit lower. Then we'll do that in just a moment. I might as well pick up some of this stuff. Oh, wow, there's so much more. This level is huge. This is Asher. Thanks for freeing me, Spyro. And now, where was I? <laughs> I have no clue. Was he in mid-conversation when he was frozen? Is that the idea? Probably. Well, we're saving dragons young and old, but they're all older than us. That's sort of the weird thing. Is Spyro the only young dragon? Sure as heck seems like it sometimes. So there's nothing, ah, oh, scared me. Nothing over that way, but there is plenty this way. This level, I forgot how huge Mungus this level is. It's crazy, ow. Dude, dude, yeah, you better laugh. Oh, that's right, I gotta knock these guys off. Then which way should I go right now? Maybe I should pull up the map real fast. Options, map. I love this feature so much, it's pretty cool. Yeah, okay, so. Ooh, gotcha. It's so cool, I love it. Options, map off. I don't wanna use it to adventure around solely for now, but it is cool, because that's just like one of the few new features of the game, which I mean, obviously, there aren't supposed to be too many new features. I know I'm exploring this one in like a really in balanced way. I'm just trying to find the sort of basic way through it and then to go through it again a second time, getting everything else. Because that's usually what you want to do for levels like these. You want to sort of have like two or maybe three loops around going through the different available paths. Okay, so this is where it sort of ends from here. There's two, two, three lives up there. I remember that. There's a way to get over there, but that doesn't give you any gems. It's just sort of an extra place for lives. Don't remember how to get there now, but that, that's what I wanted to see was a dead end. So now we can go back and try to find different ways to get through everything. That's what I'm really hoping for. Whoa, that was silly of me. Don't glide on the section because we'll just go right past the platform. Okay, we're doing an excellent job. And I got it, awesome. So, let's go ahead and grab this stuff. Get rid of you, perfect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice, getting rid of these guys. Oh, there's a blue butterfly. See, that one gave me an extra life. Huh, odd. I don't know which ones are like if that's just a random chance, I've never seen that. So we gotta be careful of this guy, but when he laughs at us, we can knock him back. Whoa, whoa, oh come on, that was sort of lame. I missed him. How did I miss a guy this big? I'm knocking him the wrong way now. Oh, okay, I got him before he could get me. Cool. There's another guy down. We're halfway through all of our gems, which is no big surprise seeing how much of this level we still have left to explore. Oh, this guy's on little skis. He's still just throwing snowballs at me. There we go, grab some of this stuff. Easy to miss this stuff on the poles, so I'm trying to get it while I can. I do see another dragon over that way. And there's nothing down here, that's just a water pit of doom. Get rid of you. And where is his friend at? Oh, triathlon! I don't know what we did to get that, but I'll gladly take it. I will try my best to get the platinum trophy in this game if it's not too bad. You know, a lot of these games, they usually have like really tough platinum trophies. And because of that, I'm not too interested in it. Just because I like to play the game, but I don't like to do ridiculous things that don't have too much to do with the game, you know? Anyways, there's two more butterflies. We only need one of them, though. And we have a dragon. This is Ragnar. Oh, I like that. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Uh, ready for what? I don't know. To be honest with you, I guess this was destined to happen? Huh, yeah, that's sort of a pretty interesting theory. Maybe the dragons were being intentionally mean because they knew Nass and York would attack. And because of that, they wanted to make sure like, I guess Spyro, maybe he's supposed to be a destined dragon or something. And I think they really adopted that story a lot more in Ratchet and Clank, you know, the original developers in Stavniak did. That sort of like, you know, chosen kind of character, I don't know how to properly explain it, but. I don't know, it's still very interesting. I don't really know what they mean by that. The story isn't as flushed out as sometimes the dragons make it seem, but it would be cool for the, you know, we do get a little bit more story. Maybe we do? I don't really know too much about Spyro 2 or 3, so maybe we do get a lot of story. I really don't know. Because as far as I understand, 
you don't really rescue any dragons in Spyro 2 or 3, but I might be totally wrong. It's definitely a lot as much of a linear game as this one is. This one's sort of really simple compared to Spyro 2 and 3. Once again, as far as I know. Let's get rid of this guy. Wait, ow, oh, I thought he was closer than he seems. Objects may be closer than they appear. Even if they are pretty big as it is. Whoa, get the bat. I always think the bat's trying to attack me. Cause it goes right for me. Get that guy. Now this dude, I need to, whoa, oh, darn it. Dude, get out of here. See ya, who got the last lap this time? Yeah. Okay, whoa, don't charge off. Don't charge right after him after saying all that. So we're still missing a good chunk. Mostly, I'm guessing what we're missing is whatever will be in the chest, but there's still more to find in these areas. Because we've already gone down this way. Yeah, we glided down to that thing. Gotcha. What was that? Was that the fairy laughing? I think so. Okay, let's go ahead and whoop that. Get this chest as well. Oh no, oh, oh that hurt. <laughs> let's try that one more time. Okay, ready, and perfect. Wait, whoa, oh, okay, I was gonna say, wait, why didn't it work? Is these are one of the charging chests. Oh, is this? No, this isn't the key chest. I gotta remember where that is, because right now, no, wait, it is, okay, never mind. Let's put this in here and see what we get. Ooh, we get a yellow one, that's pretty good. How much in total then? Yeah, that's all 400 of them, awesome. So that should be the level 100% complete. Once again, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more difficult. I just remember it being a bit more challenging. I feel like the controls are a little bit more reliable most of the time here in this remaster, which is obviously very helpful for getting around the game and just being able to do it more easily. It was sort of the opposite with the Crash remaster. Some parts of the game were more difficult, especially in Crash 1, which was already the most difficult game out of the three. I don't know if that'll be the case here. We'll have to find out. But so far, it seems like it's been a wonderfully easy time, which I like. And it's very familiar for me. More on familiarity will be coming up soon. And I had that for Crash Bandicoot. Of course, I 100%ed Crash 1, which I'd never done previously, so that was a fun experience. Anyways, we're returning the Peacekeepers with 2,400 gems in total. I think we still have at least three more levels, right? We have one more level that's on the little island, we have a flying level, and then we have the boss fight. Oh, you know what? That might actually be the boss fight is the level on the little island. I might be getting that wrong. Okay, well, level 100% complete, very nice. We have 15 lives now, which is awesome. Yeah, that right there is the boss fight, it's Dr. Shemp. I remember now. So we don't wanna bother with that yet. We wanna go ahead and do the boss uh, last. There's no levels over this way then. Yeah, there's that guy. He doesn't have an egg anymore, so he's just laughing at me. And then there was not a level in there. So I guess there really is only one more level. Maybe it might have the same amount of levels as World 1. I thought that wasn't the case, but could be totally wrong. Let's go to Night Flight. Have a good time with this one. Should be good. I love the flight levels. They're also just really tough and require a lot of trial and error. Entering night flight. This should be good, hopefully. <laughs> it is nighttime, so obviously that makes sense. I love how the background is always the background for whatever level we're in, so like the sky. Wow, this one looks so cool. So, looks like we have some rings to go through. We'll work on these ones first. Also, flapping your wings actually does something in this one. In Spiral 1, like on the PS4, like you could flap your, your wings, but they didn't really seem like they did much. But here it really does feel like it actually makes a difference. It makes you go a little bit higher. There we go, got that one. Gotta go down real sharp. Gotta angle myself back up, because I think I missed one. Maybe I didn't, okay, surprise, surprise. Go ahead and grab that, move back down this way. Got it, I really hope I didn't miss any. I don't think I did though. So far, no, okay, I got it. Turning out a little bit better than last episode's flying level. Got it. Is there any trains I'm supposed to be getting? I don't think so. More little ring gates. This time I always call these gates. Even though they're basically rings as well. The timer's going down fast though. I gotta do this fast. Oh, and I remember we gotta light up the torch, or the, the light, whatever it really is. I don't know. Oh, I missed one. I'm so done. I'm so done. There's no way I can catch up now. we are running out of time too much. Oh, that's real tough. Oh, but I can do this. Oh wait, this might work out. This might work out. Where's the next one? Next one's this way. Next one's this way. Got it. Wait, where's the other ones? Wait, what? Where are the other ones? I don't know. So we got everything except for one arch and four lights. So we'll try to do that again and see if we can't do it a little bit better. That would be that would be good, wouldn't it? Let's hope it turns out okay this time. Oh wait, no, I missed it already. Hold on. <laughs> I was not ready. Yeah, you know, we're just gonna retry. Wait. There's no retry button? Oh, come on, the original had a retry button. 
you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this then. Sorry, Spyro. I love how he splashes the water, just like, dang it, I messed it up. All right, well, let's try this again. Move right away. Excellent. So we, we go through this cool yellow cave. I probably, no, nah, I probably don't then. I mean, I was trying to think. I don't think I did really anything wrong with my pathway. I think I just need to do a better job at actually getting the chests. I just barely got the one, because I turned around here thinking I had missed one, but I didn't. Gotcha. So, ooh, hoo, hoo, getting very close to the water there. Got it? This is so much fun. I love these levels. They're tough, but once you get them right, it's so satisfying. So I got all of that, now I can start going through the gates or the arches, that's what they call the arches. And it should work out pretty well. So I see, I see a couple of arches right by us. But I guess I had, uh, should have done more about. But now that I know they're there, it should be easier to figure out with it like that. Okay, got it. Now we can hit this thing. We just gotta loop around against the wall as much as possible. I, I went sort of like to the right here when they're actually to the left, right? No, no, where are they? Where are they? they? They were to the right, gosh darn it. Come on, one, zero, I can't reach it, gosh darn it. <laughs> that wasn't any better really. I tried, but didn't make much of a difference, did it? Okay, try this again. Got these as fast as I can. Excellent. It's also super satisfying to see that fill up on the top left and then you know, swing down to the bottom. It's a pretty cool little idea. Got it. Going this way now. And boom. Try to get this one. So, so far so good. I feel like I'm not really making any silly mistakes so far. Let's keep it that way. Maybe I should try to get, ah, uh, that feels like it'd be too difficult, but it may be worth my while if I were to get the arches and the lights at the same time, because there are some tricky ones. Like that one down there, that's a real tricky one. But then I like really start to run out of time when I do that, and it gets scary. I don't know, there might be a different, better way to do this. I think that I just need to take the turn at the right time, so maybe I'm being silly with this still. But I can do that, and then I can grab this because it doesn't give you too much time, does it? Come on, grab that, go like this, grab this one. We're not really building any more time though, it's the big problem. Okay, got it, come on, a couple more. Got it, no, it's so tough, gosh darn. One more time, and if I don't do it, I'll, I'll cut out and I'll try again, like I'll, I'll cut back to when we're actually doing it correctly. But geez Louise, it is not easy. I just gotta focus one thing at a time, I think. The arches, the, the, I mean, the, the rings, the chests, the arches, and then the lights. It's just what I gotta do. Okay, that worked out well enough. And got it. Got it. Go this way, come on, come on. Cool. I also love these levels because they're a nice break from the action. They're just a little bit different in that way. That they're just really enjoyable. They don't really play, of course, like anything else in the game. So it just makes it for a fun distraction. I love the effects on the water when you're gliding right above it. They give you the idea that you're moving super duper fast because you are. I hope so, with how hard it is to keep our, you know, control and our cool and everything. Better be pretty fast. Got it. Okay, so with that, I need to torch this one up. Grab that, and now it's to the right. Yeah, don't be silly about this. Just grab these as much as possible. It's super easy. There's four of them left. I think I know where all four of them are. We got this one there. Move this way and got it. And then the last one right here. Come on, four, three, boom. Perfect stuff. We got all four things. Took a lot of work, but we finally figured it out. Congratulations, 115.7 is our time. We're gonna keep that. I don't want anything more or less. It's perfect how it is. So with that being completed, that means that we are good to move on to the boss fight, which like I said before is Dr. Shemp. So we'll do what we can to defeat him and hopefully everything will turn out just fine. Can only hope, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I think things are, seem like pretty well set up for us to do fine, but we did die a lot in the boss fight of last episode. Last episode we didn't die a single time until the boss fight. Whoa, it starts us right on the edge, a little scary. So let us try to deal with him as we head into this level right here. Dr. Shemp, let's go! because I think we found everything else. I'm almost positive. So we're confronting Dr. Shep. I don't think it normally says confronting, so it really does show you it's a boss fight level. 
Don't know how many gems we'll have, but maybe we'll have 300 of them to even it off to a perfect 3,000. That'd be pretty cool. Whoa, look at the eclipse. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Oh, I love that. So let's see, yep, 300 gems exactly. So we'll have a total of 3,000 by the end of all this. will be pretty cool. Okay, oh, these guys are a little weird. <laughs> because, oh, I do remember that. These guys will be charged at you by the chefs. If you do miss them, like what happened there, they'll run off the edge and they'll drop a gem. Make sure you pick up those gems because they're easy to miss once they, you know, are just hanging out by the ledge of it. Let's go ahead and get rid of you for sending your little buddies at me. And they're just holding like cooking equipment. <laughs> I think they just had like, like butcher's knives or something. Let's go ahead and get these. Perfect. There we go. What about this lady up here? Come on, can I get her? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I forgot about that. Whoa, what are you doing sending those guys on me when I can't even see them? How rude. You're quite the tactician, but I don't appreciate it. Boink, boink, got it, got it. <laughs> doing pretty well taking them out so far. That's another big thing about this game, is it's so satisfying to take out enemies, because they always like flop over and it's like, oh, the pain! You know, it's, just, it's so over-exaggerated and that's what's so wonderful about it. But behind here, we can get all the way up. I don't know, I hear some evil laughing. And then we can glide across here, hopefully. Oh no, okay, I thought I was gonna make that. Oh, that was a purple gem, that was 25 of them. I think that's the best kind of gem you can get, which is pretty cool. And there's a key. Now we need to go back up that thing so that we can glide across all the way over to that one cooking lady. Make sure we take her down. That would be good. Let's give it a shot, ready? Oh boy, I'm scared, but I think we can make it. I think we can make it. We made it, nice. So get rid of you first before anything else. I'm just chilling out up here. And there is a little corridor. What does this lead to? Oh, hey look, Dr. Shemp. Anything else around here? No, okay, that was it. <laughs> How simple. I don't think that was the way we're supposed to do it. I think we're supposed to glide down there from the area we're going to right now. But hey, if my way works, it works. Okay, so let's check out probably the only dragon in this area. Yeah, let's see. It's just usually only one dragon for the boss things. Trondo. Dr. Shemp thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I tell you one thing, he should watch his back. Oh. Okay, so first off, Trondo is really cool. He looked like he could take out Dr. Shemp here without even trying. Look at this guy. But he said he better watch his back. I think that's a bit of a hint on how we're supposed to take out this boss fight. We'll have to try to find out ourselves. As we get up here, wait, whoa. Okay, so yeah, what does he do? I think he like just charges us, he dances around. Yeah, that's it, that's it. And then <laughs> he's just, he's not wearing anything except for that shield. <laughs> Ew, get over here, get some clothes on. Okay, let's see. I wanna also make sure there's no gems behind this little platform, doesn't look like it. But blasting him gives us some gems, so that's worth doing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what you doing? Oh, that, that little thing looks like Uka. Or Aku Aku, you know what I mean. What are you gonna do, huh? Nothing? Oh, whoa, you, you spin. Okay. You also sort of kind of remind me of Papu Papu, but also not really at all. At least he wears clothes. A little bit more dignified. Okay, let's try this again. What are you gonna do now? Whoa! Oh, skill point acquired! I guess we're beating him without taking any damage. We'll have to check that out right now. Uh, Skill points. Dr. Shemp, perfect. Ah, oh, that's so cool. So it looks like we did miss some things, like on Stonehill, burn the hidden pink tulip, town square, all bulls struck. Thought we did that, I don't know. Uh, burn hidden painting, oh, there's some really cool stuff we can do. Collect skill points to unlock part one and two of the art gallery. Really, Ah, oh, that's so fun. I can't wait to do all those. They actually look like they're not so bad, so I might give those a shot. We're doing pretty good so far with them. Like we took out Dr. Shemp without taking any damage, that's awesome and we can return home in just a moment if we have gotten everything. Oh, we can cash in our key right here, can't we? Yes, we can. And oh, that gave us another 25, so we got ourselves all 300. What's in the box? Well, now we know it's a 100% completion. <laughs> awesome, so we are good with this level, which means we can head on out and I guess be done with this area. What a fun world. Through and through, I had a lot of fun with that one. So I can't wait to check out the next world in the next episode, but for right now, we gotta return home. I saw the eclipse back there again. It's so cool. I don't know if there was an eclipse in the original game, but I appreciate it now. 
Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun with this game. It's been great. I can't wait to complete Spiral 1. Because I love this game so much. Oh, oh, I can. I didn't realize I could spit fire while we're here. I can do little rolls too. Oh, now I have things to occupy myself. That is so cool. I can even move around a little bit. Look at me. <laughs> All right, 100% level complete. That is awesome. As you can see, we've 100% completed Peacekeepers, Dry Canyon, Cliff Town, Ice Cavern, Night Flight, and Dr. Shemp, and got a couple of skill points along the way. So far, we've played for an hour and 19 minutes, yep. And then we've had a total of 35% completed in the game. So I think we're doing fantastic. Hopefully you think so too. And hopefully you're excited for the next episode as we tackle the next area, whatever it may be. We'll find out in the next episode of the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Dragon. So now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.